again. So hi everyone. So today I thought I would show you some of my new funky texture packs. I'm going to slightly turn so you can see the first one just in the background. Before we jump into the video, please drop a like on this right now and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because we just hit 4,000 and we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers which is crazy. So let's jump into this. The first thing that I'm going to do is jump out of Minecraft altogether and then go over to options and resource packs and this is where I've installed all of my resource packs. Basically, I just went onto YouTube and just spent about three hours watching loads of YouTube videos and there is hundreds of different resource packs available. If you know of any that you think I should try out and use, please let me know. But these are ones that I've just installed and the server itself doesn't need anything. So if you're on a public SMP or a private SMP, these seem to work fine so far. So I've got the totem cat, the flower armor, the paintings, a harvest pack, a fat cat pack, an earth and foxes pack, the fences one, and then this is just a default one that came with Minecraft. So that's the names of them all. You can pause the video and grab them and Google them if needed. Um, and then just for everyone's benefit, this is the shader that I'm running currently. So it's BSL. Um, again, you can just Google it. It's quite a common shader to use. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go on a creative world. I realized that these are all on an older version of Minecraft, so I'll have to create a new one. All right, so I'm going to start off with the fences and I'm going to start off with the oak fence to show you what the oak fence looks like. And honestly, I, I really like this one. I think up close, looking at it at a distance, the different color variations is really good. We then have the spruce fence, which is also a favorite. I think spruce and birch as well, they're my two favorites. So this is what this one looks like. I think cottage core vibes for sure. And, and they look the same from both angles. Excuse my poor decorating back there let's just not judge that for a second um okay then we're gonna go with the birch fence and again i think this is a gorgeous combination because this kind of represents the actual birch tree i feel like almost i'm gonna do the jungle fence i've never been a fan of jungle wood so some people might prefer that i personally not really feeling it the Fence that wood that I can never say acacia wood, I think it is. Um, I know that Random loves this one. Again, I think that's actually quite good if you're building your house out of acacia or if you're doing almost like a biome house, I think that would look quite good. We've then got the dark oak fence. And again, this is beautiful. I think you could make some really nice cottage vibe houses with that fence. Then I'm going to move on to the crimson fence. I think that one for me, like if I come this way and kind of look at it, it's okay. I think if you was doing like a netherite house, maybe, maybe. Then we've got the wrap fence. Again, if you was doing almost like a mermaid theme, I think that would look quite good. Or if it was kind of near the water. And the last one is the nether brick fence, which honestly, this looks really good. <laughs> um, I feel like if you were doing a castle almost, this is really good. And it also kind of just looks like this if we was to pile it up too. So just to give you an idea there. And then if I wanted to pull it out and do something fancy, that's all the fences. So kind of moving in theme with the fence it also comes with the same matching gates so this is the oak fence gate we're then gonna use the spruce fence in fact if i kind of put it one by one let's use the dog in the background guys so we've then got birch but i think again it's really cute and these are good to design and use like in your house as well 
This one is the jungle. Then we're going to go with acacia again. Then we're going to move to dark oak just before the sunset. Then we're going to use crime. Crimson? Crimson? Why did I just say it like that? I don't know. And then the warped fence as well. So that is everything from the fence texture pack. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is more of the clothing side of things from the texture packs. Now, the first one is what I'm holding. It's so cute. Um, It's the totem and it is essentially a lucky cat. You guys know that I love cats. So for me, that is a huge win. Um, now I want to show you the more armor side of things. I'm going to start with the leather and show you how this looks. And I just think it looks really cute. It's more of a floral aspect. So it really shows off your skin more than anything. And I have the cutest skin in the world. Just saying if I was to show you right now. So I feel like this is going to really go well with my skin in particular. All right, next armor set is the chainmail helmet, the chainmail set, and this is a cute looking pink flower set. The next one I'm going to show you is the iron set. Now, this is one of my favorites. As you can see, it's more of a spring flower and very cute looking. All right, swiftly so moving on to the diamond set. This is more of a purpley blue colored flower. You can see it's kind of a mix of both, if I'm honest with you. And again, this is obviously the more higher end suit, but I feel like all of these look really cute. Right, moving on to the gold suit. Although I know that gold is not that popular, again, I'm thinking more from a decorative point of view. You could put these in your house. The gold is like a pale pink almost. It's kind of very similar to this one except it's a little bit more pale just a tiny bit more pale all right the last of the clothing is the netherite suit the most expensive and prestigious of them all is a almost like a black rose purpley blue pinkyish color i don't know what we're gonna call it it kind of looks pink it kind of looks purple with a tint of blue maybe um, again, I think this one is kind of almost like my skin already, so you can imagine these would look fabulous on me. But that is everything from a clothing aspect of the mods, so now on to the next ones. Alright, the next mod that I want to show you is the painting mod. So this gives you cute looking paintings. I'm just going to match them all around here so you can see all the different cute looking ones that we are going to get. Obviously, the Pusheen is my favorite. Look at it. <laughs> but I think for decorating your house, this just gives it some color and something just a little bit different than normal. Look at them. All right, the next thing that I want to show you is the carrots. So basically, this works with all food. I'm just going to show you with the carrots for the time being. As you plant them, this is how they look initially. So they're like little mini baby carrots right now look at them just blowing in the wind but then as soon as you start to fully develop these carrots they change in size and then if I just do this last one and then this one again here once they're ready to be harvested they are in a little bag which looks really cute kind of cottage core forest core vibes but also if you're someone like me who's not 100% sure if your crops are ready to go yet this is an easy way to know. So I think that's really, really cool. And then the last two things that I quickly want to show you before the sun sets down is the cat fauna. This just makes all the cats look really chunky in size. And I think it's something that everyone needs in life. I love a chunky cat. So for sure, I think that's a very cute and special mod. And you can never have enough cats, right? And then the last mod that I wanted to show you is the fox spawner. And I'm just going to go ahead and spawn a load of foxes in right now. So we can see all these cute little foxes, all the different colored ones. They've got flowers on them, little rainbow ones. Oh my gosh, there's so many foxes. Um, and look at this 
guy what's going on with his head i don't know i just think it's an extra cute thing to have and it just makes him special so that is the video i hope you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like comment and let me know what mods i should use or test out and yeah i hope you all have a good day please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in another video very soon